In this video, we're going to see how to fix an error that shows the message invalid LOC header bad signature. So first of all, if you just want the quick fix, here it is. What I recommend is that you back up and delete the M2 repository folder and then do a Maven update. That should fix the issue. So the longer version, I'm going to do a live example in just a moment. The background is I've only seen this issue when, I'm, when I have a Maven project in Eclipse and I have Tomcat integrated into Eclipse, and I try to deploy this application in the Tomcat that I have deployed in Eclipse. Now, I'm not gonna go through setting that up in this video because I have several other videos that discuss this. Just take a look on my channel for Eclipse and Tomcat integration and Eclipse and Maven integration. Without further ado, let's take a look at a live example. I try to deploy an application and I see that I get a 404 not found when the application loads. Now this application is on Tomcat within Eclipse. When I go to Eclipse, I click on the console tab and I see this invalid LOC header bad signature. Now to get to the console tab, in case you're not there, we want to look down at the bottom. It's one of these tabs along with uh, servers, which is where the Tomcat is set up. It's just a tab by default, about six tabs from the left. Uh, if you don't see this kind of look and feel, make sure that you're in the Java EE view in the upper right corner. So what I'm going to do to fix this is I'm going to look for my M2 directory, which is where Maven stores all of its libraries. So the user signed in is currently just called Win7. So users Win7, M2, and then repository one of these jars is corrupt, and I'm not sure which one. So I'm simply going to say Control A and uh, select all. Just a moment. Okay, and then I'm going to do a delete. Sure, go ahead and delete. If Tomcat is currently started, it will probably give me an error like this. So no problem. Let me run back and stop Tomcat. It's just saying that Tomcat currently has a hook on this. Looks like Tomcat has stopped. Let me just close Eclipse just to make sure that Eclipse doesn't have a handle into any of those jars as well. And now we'll go ahead and try again. And you see they're all gone. Okay, now time to restart Eclipse. And we're gonna do a Maven update. Notice before we do the Maven update that this folder is empty because this is that repository. So let's go ahead and let Eclipse start now. Um, sometimes we'll need to do a Maven update. Other times an automatic build will figure everything out. We'll give it a moment, let it see what's going on. What's interesting is I've started Eclipse and I didn't tell it to do a Maven update, but I can actually see that this folder is getting more files just with the automatic build turned on. So I'm gonna let this go for just a few more moments. What I might do, just because I have this uh, project won't build right now, uh, Java build path problems, uh, I might go ahead and just right click and say Maven and then update project. Okay. And OK, and we'll let that go. I'll pause the video as it's updating. Now, after a few moments, the progress bar has disappeared from the right side. And we see also that the simple page project uh, is now built without errors. So I go to servers. And honestly, it's a good idea to right click and do a clean here, clean and clean Tomcat working directory. It does realize that a change has happened. And you see it says stop republish. So let me go ahead and start the server. And let's see if we get better results this time. I'm going to keep a close eye on this console. Notice that the console appears as soon as I try to start the server. OK, so let's go back and refresh the page now. And sure enough, we see that everything is happy and the page renders as expected. 